Okay, hello. Um, welcome to the Modern Software Engineering Channel. Me and Kent are here to answer one big question. But before we get into it, if you like this video, um, hit like. And if you like more of this, uh, make sure you press subscribe. And although I said we're going to answer this one big question, I think we're going to explore it more. Um, uh, the question that we're going to look at is, can we fix software estimation? Apparently, we're going to do this in only a handful of minutes rather than hours or days. Um, that's how efficient we are. That is, I'm, I mean, that's just an estimate, though. So it is, yeah, exactly. I mean, who know, who knows how long this video is going to take to record? But there is also before we before we get into it, there is a uh, if you're not aware of it, there is a um, there is a law, Betteridge's law of headlines, uh, named for Ian Betteridge, who observed that any headline that ends in a question mark can be answered no. So okay, are, are, we, are we done? Yeah, I think we are. So okay, it was a bit quick. Super, thank you so much, Kevin. I really it's appreciate been great. This. Yeah, don't forget like and subscribe. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. A minute. So I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest that the the problem isn't estimation. The problem is the question that we're asking, for which we think estimation would be the answer. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and I, I summarize it as okay. So we we you have here's a here's an actual story i would last team i managed we were building software that had variations for each U u.s state and we'd done at maybe 15 states and my manager asked me okay uh how long until it's done and i said i'm not going to answer that question because nobody knows each state's different there's no documentation etc 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 yeah we had some experience but we also we had enough experience to know that Every single state was going to be an exception. We didn't know how big it was. And we also didn't know how much faster we were going to be going. And he said, okay, I, I appreciate that. I know, you know, you can't specify exactly. Da, 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 da. Two weeks later, he says, uh, but uh, when's it going to be done? I said, I'm not going to answer that question. Because if I answer that question, if I, if I give you a date, my team now has downside if they miss the date. And they have no upside if they hit the date. They get a, a pat on the head, but, but that's it. And I'm not going to put my team in that position. And he said, oh, you know, he wasn't happy about it, but, you know, he respected my position. Two weeks later, he says, so uh, when's it going to be done? I said, what do you mean by it? You can't, if you could tell me what it was, I still couldn't answer your question, but you can't even tell me what it is because who knows we get 30 states in and realize, oh, the whole project's trash and we're going to throw it all away. And then are we done then? Or are we not done then? Like the, the questions malformed. So I ask very specifically, who wants to know and what decision rests on our answer? And I think that's the crux of the, the estimation. Fixing estimation in the sense of we know when it will be done is simply impossible because nobody knows what it is. And even if we did, we couldn't tell you when it would be done. But if we could get to the question of like, who cares and why, then we'd have at least a chance of addressing it. Yeah. I think that, I think that that's, that for me, that's always the one when people, people dive in with an assumption of what they mean by estimation. And the chances are that if you've got N people, there's at least N plus one ideas of what is meant by estimate. And it's not a concrete, well-defined term in the way that certain scientific terms are. Um, and so people go by this kind of assumed thing. And one of the things that happens, I found one of the things you just outlined there was where there's this gentle slide from what is a request for effectively effort and time, informational, to something that turns into a commitment. And there's a very subtle thing. If I ask you, how long do you think that's going to take? then I am asking you, how long do I, th you, you, know, do you think that's going to take? But it depends on my perspective is I might then walk away and say that now becomes a commitment without ever having told you that that was my intent. And so there is this shift. It's actually a shift that um, uh, Giovanni Asperoni in a piece in 97 Things Every Programmer Should Know a number of years ago, um, he wrote a little piece called Learn to Estimate. And it's like 500 words on learning how to estimate, except he doesn't talk about techniques for estimation. He talks about distinguishing the nature of the question, you know, distinguish between, is this a target? You know, if, if somebody tells me we've got to have this done by Christmas, by Thanksgiving, by whatever, 
that that's a target and we're going to throw things out until we're able to reach that because we don't get control over that if somebody tells me uh, actually this is a commitment then that's going to engage something very different in my uh, my brain if they're actually interested in how long do i think it's going to take then that's actually a probability distribution and we might not know the shape of that and the chances are with estimates it's not it's not normal. It's not going to be beautifully symmetric. It's going to have a ridiculously long tail. And that is also something that I think defeats um, people when, when they do come up with, even if they do offer a number and they say, oh, give or take. And people often give a symmetric give or take. They often sort of say, oh, that'll be, you know, that, that's going to be like uh, 10 weeks plus or minus one. It's just, just well, no, maybe minus one, but more likely plus 10. You know, it, it's, it's, got a, it's got a huge asymmetry to it. It's just yeah. like, you know, yeah, it's, it's, you know, you would be or 50. Yeah. Yeah. And in fact, that one of those things that I, I often draw this out on a, on a, on a, uh, on a whiteboard where I sort of show people, I, I ask people a very different question. I move it away from software and I say, well, okay, let's take something that we, in theory, we know something about, whereas software, we're often building things that we genuinely don't know anything about. Exactly. As you said, you've got 50 states, each one's going to be different. Um, this is unknown. If we knew how long that would take then we'd already know the shape and the detail of the work but most of what we do in software it has a known component and then somebody wants novelty there's something extra that somebody wants they don't want the same thing as something else because we've already got that so we ask for something different and because it's different it's unknown either to all software developers or to us particularly as a team then the, the shape of that the variability on that's huge and then i i always ask okay so transport we, we're pretty good at transport whether it be trains and planes and automobiles we should know this but what is the variability on a standard car journey on a standard flight and i say okay ha has anybody ever turned up earlier than expected and yeah, be, yeah and i said right by how much, you know, if I go to my parents' house, it's about, I don't know, two and a half hours on a very good day from, uh, from where I live in Bristol. And maybe we turn up, maybe we turn up 20 minutes early, but can we turn up later? Oh, by, by vast amounts, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> two hours late, you can traffic, can be, there's a lot more space late than there is early. You know, I've arrived once one hour early on a flight, but it was a 13 hour flight and, uh, and we left early, but I've also arrived. 24 hours or 48 hours later, you know, there's a lot more space on the other side. So there's another thing about fixing estimation is fixing an expectation around if we do offer a number. And even if we say, oh, it's not exact, the shape of the inexactness is, is, is way, way, way skewed uh, beyond our expectation. Right. And then we have the fractal measurement problem where the closer we get to actually writing the actual software, the bigger the software is, not just appears, actually is. And everything you implement spawns off two more things that you want to implement that you didn't expect when you originally said, when is it going to be done? So the, the, the thing we're measuring is continually growing. It's like, uh, if it took you a month to, to weigh a baby elephant, it's going to be bigger when you're finished than when you started. And so what, yeah. what is the answer to that? How big is this? And because of all that, uh, at the same time, there is a, a genuine human and business need underneath the question that can't be solved by a naive answer of the question. But if someone is weighing, do I invest in this versus do I invest in that? Well, how big are they? Like just relative sizes. We need to figure out when the question is asked. As engineers, we just jump to the answer. Like when it's finished, what, and I look at the calendar, what number is going to be on the calendar? That, that's the, the naive engineering response to the question. But that's oftentimes not even what's being asked. It's like, is this bigger than that? Yeah, I think, and I think exactly uh, it goes back to the point you made about understanding what the question really means. Who is it that is asking and what, do, what are they going to do with the answer? Uh, what other decisions are riding on it? And, and I always remember there was a, something that happened a few years ago. Myself and a, a friend, we did a, a joint visit to a company to basically help them with their stuff. We were only supposed to be there for a couple of days. Um, and it's just like, you know, we want to sort of improve our process and our practice. And I'll just give you a heads up as to um, how likely it is that these folks were in a good place from <laughs> they never hire us if it's a good place kevin N nobody ever says you know what we we are 
things are awesome and we're so proud of it. We would just like to share it with someone who can appreciate how awesome it is. Come, come I, and look at this. You know, you can bask in its glory. I want you to show, show you something good. Never, never. Yeah, these, these people, are the, from the first email to the time we turned up was five years. And there was, there was discussion. So, so now you're getting a sense of like how effective these people are going to be. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to mention any names there. But one of the most, you know, a number of interesting things came out there. Um, and I'm sure this will pop up in a bunch of other one big questions. But one of them um, was a discussion. I managed to get, you know, the, we managed to get the product people, um, the, the, the managers, uh, the developers, the UI people, all of us in the same room at the same time. And one, when we hit that question of estimation, those preconceptions, everybody holds a different idea of what they mean by an estimate. And exactly as you said, we jump to it. And if we happen to be disposed one way, then we think of it as, oh, it's a, I, they're asking me for a commitment. Um, or um, in this particular case, it's the precision versus the accuracy. This is one that often comes out. And a developer to, to one side of me was kind of moaning and groaning and just sort of being a little bit frustrated, saying, I don't know if this is going to be 4.5 days or 5.3 or something like that. You know, the, they were talking decimal, decimal points here. And the product manager to the other side of me was, was aghast. And he said, I had no idea that you were going through this kind of anguish every time I asked because the you know, developer's going, we don't know exactly how long it's going to be. He said, that's not what I'm asking. I want to know when I ask you for this feature, what, what's the general size of it? Is it is it days or is it months? I don't know how big a thing it is. And they are genuinely, are yeah. You know, this person was genuinely asking for you know how generally large, not ten point this and five point that. I'm not going to add it all up and put it in a spreadsheet and then deliver it by this particular date based on those numbers. It's just. I want to know if this is something I could have in the next few weeks, or if I'm asking you something so large that we have to push it into next year. I just want to know that kind of uh, scale of magnitude. You know, it's, it's bicycle versus car. What are you buying here? It's a, yeah. But it, and that was a genuine. And I'm not saying that everybody who asks that question is ask um, ask is asking that particular question, but it highlighted to me that there were two people in the room who had completely different understandings. They were apparently having a conversation with the same words, but they actually meant very different things. They wanted to do different things and they were suffering different uh, anxieties around it. Now, I think we've come to kind of a nice conclusion point in, uh, and I get to do one of my favorite things, which is contradict you. Um, also, so th the answer to the question, can software estimation be, be fixed is actually yes. It's by figuring out what question is actually being asked, which is a relationship building exercise, which as geeks, we're not terribly well suited for, but boo-hoo. Figuring out what question's being asked, who wants to know, what is the, the purpose, what decision are they going to make based on that, and then tailoring the activities that we do to meeting the actual need that's underneath the question, which from an engineering standpoint is simply impossible to answer with any degree of accuracy. Yeah. I, and I think, I think that dif that differentiation of, you know, who are the roles involved and what are the consequences of this? But I also think there's a, there's another, there's another element. You, you mentioned the accuracy thing there. Um, one, and sometimes, you know, people don't want to hear this. Um, so therefore. Except you know, I, I have to say it. Yeah. And I, I do remember, uh, and this, this number will be, you know, forever, um, burned into my memory, uh, a, a company I visited a few years ago and they, we were talking about estimation and, 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 and tracking in various bits and pieces. And I was sort of saying, you're pushing, you're making the numbers do something they probably don't want to do, you know, um, and you, you, <laughs> I didn't use the word torture, but they were kind of torturing the numbers in a way. And they showed me this beautiful Microsoft project plan. I mean, you know, it, it sat on the screen as a, as a, as a masterpiece of fiction and, uh, and they had, they had, you know, 
<laughs> and as a fiction author, I appreciate this kind of art. And they sort of said, so wait a minute, you're saying we've got this two month task here and we're currently 52.5% of the way through. And I said, honestly, you're quoting that to three significant figures. And I just don't think that's something you can do on a thing that you have not yet built. I could not even do that on a, on a route that I have already driven, let, al <laughs> let alone something like software, which is knowledge work. And exactly as you say, there's this fractal quality to it that sometimes when you hit something that was a throwaway remark, you suddenly discover there's a stack of legislation of complexity that you know, you never appreciated it. Somebody just sort of said, oh yeah, yeah, that, that, that just needs to be constrained in this way. Double click on that. And suddenly it's this vast domain in its own right that needs to be understood. And you go, oh, there's a lot more work here. Um, you know, you're chasing the horizon at this point. But it was the way she said 52.5%. And it's just like, nah, are you lucky if you're about halfway through? I said, you know, it, and if, you're, if you have one significant digit, you're, you're way ahead of the game. Yeah. 10, 20, 30, 40. You know, it's more like, is it less than half? There might be one significant bit, yeah, or, uh, yeah, I, 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 less than or greater than half done, yeah, and that and that it was kind of where I was coming in, and this was clear. They had a whole set of rituals and practices around how they did estimation, and so what I ended up to try and find a compromise, and uh, we kind of divided things into three categories, um, you know, and and this was kind of like this. Oh, we have a way of doing estimation. I was like, okay. And I said, well, what about the things that are really just kind of too small to even worry about? You know, why, why put the effort in there? And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, actually that makes sense. We'll just toss those in a bucket and throw that in the next sprint. You know, that, that, that's stuff that can be picked up. Then there's the bigger things, but they require a certain level of knowledge. Do you have that knowledge? And then one of the most interesting ones was talking to one of the architects. He said, well, actually, we just learned about this through a paper that's been published about a particular optimization, which may or may not apply to our system. So we don't know if it will be effective. We don't know if we've already optimized the hell out of it. Um, and therefore no other optimization is going to take it further. We don't even know. So we don't know if it will be effective. We don't know if it can actually be integrated with our system. And then we don't know if it's going to make a difference to, even if it does actually proved to be viable from a technical sense. We don't know if it's going to make a difference to the customer experience. And we also don't know how long it's going to take to integrate to a real code base rather than a standalone example. The operative words there are don't know. The level of unknown is just huge. And I said, yeah, you can't even come up with a reasonable number or distribution. You have to do work to get to the point where you even understand the question. So we created a third bucket for that, which is do not know enough to even give a kind of like a, a hand wavy range. And that allowed us to fit within the expectations of the business, which is that they had a, a, you know, they had an estimation process. What we did is we confined that to things that were relatively safe, would still probably go wrong, but the degree of wrongness was probably a lot less. They were mixing these two things, things that is wildly, you know, we genuinely have no idea yeah. to actually, you know, this feels like around this size and it feels like work we've seen before, as opposed to no idea. And honestly, why are we even wasting time? You know. You know, I, I am reminded of another company, um, uh, and this one was actually stateside, where we spent a meeting of six people arguing for an, half an hour as to whether or not a developer should commit to about three hours of work. That's honestly six times half an hour. We'd already wasted the three hours that the developer was going to. I'm sitting there going, why are we even doing this? This is such a waste of time. Um, so, you know, if nothing else, there's these little political maneuvers, which in some cases and some companies might be helpful to people. It's just like, yeah, get, partition these things into different buckets and then, uh, you know, sort of say, we cannot change your question, but let's, let me educate you on the fact we genuinely don't know enough about the answer or honestly, What's the difference between one hour and three hours? If this is a small piece. Who knows? Yeah, let's not even estimate it. In fact, no, normally those are of the order of days, to be, to be fair to them, uh, rather than hours. But uh, yeah, they, they tended to like their two-month chunks. Super. I think we have this sorted. I think we have this sorted. I mean, if anybody has any kind of questions or you know, any further thoughts, let us know in the comments. Also, your pain points and your pain stories. Everybody has a bunch of stories from which other people can learn, um, but also positive things. Um, you know, we also have, um, you know, I think it's very easy to lean towards uh, the negatives, but there are also some positive stories about uh, estimates uh, or rather how we've had the right conversations that has actually made that question go away. In other words, it's that idea of rooting out what is it that you're actually after and how, we yeah, how do we have, how do we have productive conversations about time? Yeah.
yeah, yeah. T- time is time is elusive, and you know, uh, I think we, I think we, I think we all know this, and uh, uh, it's uh, uh, it, it's it's fleeting. And if anybody wants to really care about this and say, yeah, but science knows about time, no, physicists are really, really struggling with this one. So it's not surprising the software folk do as well. So. Super. Thank, Thank you, Kevlin. Yeah, I think we've done it. We've done a fine job there. And I think... Well, uh, that's kind of uh, not up to us. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So if you do think... Let us know. Job, let us know. Um, hit like. If you feel that you want to argue with us more, put something in the comments um, or subscribe to get more of this content.